G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. Just a quick video looking at bearings. Okay, so bearings is a way of describing uh, one point from another point, okay, directions from a particular point. So you're probably well aware of this type of way of doing this north, east, south, west. We're going to be looking at ways of doing this using numbers, okay. So the two ways we're going to be having a look at is we're going to be having a look at true bearings, which is a pretty much counting from north in a clockwise direction around so we get to the point we're facing and we're going to have a look at conventional bearings which is a little bit of a tweak we start with our uh, north or south and then see how many degrees we need to move either to the east or the west so we'll have a look at these these aren't too hard and we'll do this by having a look at a few examples so let's just start off looking at this particular example here um, so say we were pointing in this direction now first off I guess it's pretty important to know <laughs> what are the degrees that we're talking about. So north is starting at zero degrees. East goes around to 90 degrees. South is looking at 180 degrees. West is looking at 270 degrees. And we always go around to 360 degrees once again. 360 degrees in a circle. So true bearings, what these do is they're pretty much going to have a look where we start facing north and counting the number of degrees through which we turn to get to our point here in a clockwise direction. Okay, so starting at north, we would have to turn how many degrees? You would go around all the way here. And you can look at this and you can measure this out. And you might say, okay, say we knew this particular angle here was uh, 30 degrees. What would the uh, true bearing be? So I'm going to make this a little bit tricky at the start. We could have a compass here. You could measure that and you could work that out just starting with zero there. But we're going to do this a little bit differently. How would you work this out? You could go, okay, well, because there's 90 degrees in this particular angle here, we would know that this little part here was going to be 60 degrees. So how far have we gone for our true bearing here? We've gone from zero, we've counted 90, and then we've got another 60 degrees. So we've gone 90 plus 60, we'd go 150 degrees true. For conventional bearings, this is a little bit different. Uh, what we do is we start with the following. We start either looking, we're facing north or south, okay, whichever one's appropriate, and in this case you go, okay, we're facing more south, and that's going to be our first part we put down. And then what we do is we count the number of degrees that we turn, east or west, until we get to the point we're sighting. So this, in this case, we're starting with south, and we're going to count around 30 degrees till we get to this particular point here. So south, we've moved around 30 degrees to the east. And that's the way you'd write a conventional bearing down. They're not too bad, right? Let's go through another example. Okay, what about this one? So we're going to start working out the true bearing first. So what do we do? We're going to see from north how far we have to count around in a clockwise direction to get to our particular point we're facing here. So this particular full angle here. Now obviously you could get out and measure that if you had a uh, protractor, but we're going to do it using a bit of uh, logic. So once again we have this 90 degree angle here. So we could work out this angle here which is going to be how much? We've got angles goes to 90 degrees. So we could go 90 take away 31 and we could say okay this is 59 degrees. So how far in total have we gone? We've started at zero and we've moved around 180 degrees, that's this part here, and then we've moved an extra 59 degrees. So 180 plus 59, we've moved in total 239 degrees. That's the true bearing. What about our conventional bearings? So we're facing in a more south direction. South, we've moved 59 degrees as we've already worked out, 59 degrees, and we've moved in a westerly direction. There you go, that's a conventional bearing. What about one more that you work out yourself? Okay, what about this particular example? Give it a go. We'll get the true bearing, work out the conventional bearing. All right, we'll see how you went. So we start with north, and we're gonna see how many degrees we have to count around to get all the way through to here. Now this is fairly simple, you're going to say, okay, we've got 90 degrees we've moved to get to the east here, and then we've moved another 15 degrees. So, 90 plus 15, in total the true bearing is going to be 90 plus 15, which is 105 degrees true. What's the conventional bearing? 
Once again, we're actually facing predominantly south here, so we're going to start with the south, and then we've moved off to the east, this many degrees. So I can put the east there, but how many degrees have we got here? Well, you're going to look at this and you're going to say, okay, we have 90 degrees here, so we actually go 90, take away 15, we're going to get whatever this angle is left here, and it's going to be how many degrees we've had to move through. So 90 take away 15 is going to be 75 degrees. So this is south, 75 degrees east. Alright, last example. Okay, give this one a go. Alright, for the true bearing, what are we going to get? Now, you could look at this straight away and you could say, okay, we're going to count all the way around here. So we could start here and we're going to count around all the way to this here. Now look, 0, 90, 180, 270, and then we go an extra 20 degrees. So 270 plus 20 is 290 degrees true. Conventional bearings, all right, we're starting with north here. We're facing in a more north direction. Put the north down. Oh, we've gone a different color. I like the blue color there. We're going to go north. And we're moving in a westerly direction. So we're going to have a west over here. How far have we gone? Well, we know this is 90 degrees. 90 take away 20. This is going to be 70 degrees. So this is north 70 degrees west. Anyway, I told you that was going to be a fairly quick video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, like I say, don't forget to punch that like button. Punch it really hard, all right? Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.